went to an LCS and did some digging. Stick around to see what I got. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Comic Fanatic 86 back again with another video. Today we have a huge comic book haul for you guys. Uh, I recently went to an LCS, dug through a lot of their back issues, and I got some really, really nice books with some big, uh, big keys in here. Nice keys. Um, before we get into the haul, if you guys like this kind of content, please uh, follow my uh, follow my channel, subscribe, hit that like, comment down below, let me know what you think of the haul. It'll really help out my channel. Also, follow me on um, the other social media, Instagram. Uh, whatnot. I sell on short box as well. I will leave a link in the description for all those. Um, so let's let's start talking about this haul and uh, and the and the uh, the store. So this is uh, an, an LCS to me uh, in New England. Uh, basically, it's a it's a store that uh, I mean their main focus is comic books, but they do specialize in tons of other stuff. They have Pokemon cards. They have uh, magic uh, tournaments. They have tons of old video games, uh, toys. They really kind of uh, have a ton of different stuff. I will say the, the thing that they have the most is comic books. They have, you know, well over 100 plus long boxes of books. Uh, probably probably two to 300 long boxes worth of books. Uh, basically what I'll do is every few months, every couple of months I'll go there um, because they're constantly adding new stuff. Um, so every couple of months I'll go back and just go through every box and get a big bundle. What they do is uh, if you buy 20 or more back issues, they do 20% off the whole order which is great and i always find really good stuff i actually talked to the owner a couple uh, i've talked to him a few times and basically what he said is and he, he showed me the the warehouse that they have and basically in the back of the building they have a huge warehouse floor to ceilings just boxes and boxes that they're constantly adding into the store from those boxes uh, and what he basically said to me he's like you know because i've found really big expensive keys in here for cheap in the in their back issues plenty of times and he said that he likes to you know filter in big keys like that just to keep people like me people who like to really dig through boxes to keep them coming back for more because he doesn't mind you know losing a few bucks on buck on a book here if he knows that people are going to keep coming back and buying a lot of stuff and that's what i do every single time i go um so we're going to go over all the books uh, basically what I paid was, I paid um, $277 for the entire lot. There's 51 books here. So that averages out to a little under $5.50 per book. There are, I mean, there, there's books in here that were a dollar, so they were actually 80 cents, but overall it averages to, to $5.50 a book, which in my mind is a great deal. Some of the books are worth only about five bucks, but there are some, a bunch of stuff that's worth 10, 15, 20, 40, 50 dollars even on some of these books. So let's go ahead and just get into it. Um, so there's no really, uh, there's no rhyme or reason here or any particular order. I'm just gonna kind of go over everything. So first up, we have Marvel Masterpieces number one. This is a reprint of the Silver Surfer number one, and this book itself is a decent little book. Not, not, you know, it's not super expensive, but it's not cheap either. It's probably about a ten to fifteen dollar book. Um, none of these are are are. I didn't bag or uh, rebag and board everything. The only problem with this place is they don't actually board any of their back issue stuff. They do have a wall with, with more expensive books, but they don't actually board anything in their back issues. So the boxes are usually really tight. You kind of have to be, be careful when you're looking through, but I'll just rebag and board everything. It's not a big deal. Uh, next up we have Fantasy Masterpieces number uh, five. This is, uh, sorry, number three. This is the reprint of the first Mephisto. Again, about a $10 to $15 book. And then this one here is could be any, anywhere from 15 to 20. Uh, Fantasy Masterpiece number four. Just a reprint of that iconic cover. And these are actually really nice. These are probably, I mean, they're not near mint or anything, but these are probably like VF copies. They're pretty solid. Next up, we have Gambit number one. A really pretty high grade copy. This is actually one that I might get slabbed. I have gotten a couple of nine eights in this in the past, and this is a beauty. So that one might get slabbed. I'm actually gonna put that one in a separate little pile here. 
Next up, we have Green Lantern 195. This is a book that I am specking on hard. This book does not get enough love. Uh, I, I do have a couple of spec videos planned, and this is definitely going to be on there because uh, this is the first appearance of Guy Gardner as a Green Lantern. Absolutely iconic cover. Uh, this is a newsstand copy as well. But this one here, it's a super undervalued book. Generally, raw copies go for about 10 bucks. And um, nine eights are really only about 200. I have a nine eight. Um, if you saw my latest uh, CGC unboxing, I did get another, I did get a nine six as well. Uh, but I'm holding those books. I have a lot of faith in this book. Uh, this book. I think that the, um, the Green Lantern show on HBO Max is gonna be good. HBO Max has been doing a really good job with their DC stuff. So uh, next up we have Crisis on Infinite Earths number seven. This is the Death of Supergirl. And again, a gorgeous copy. This is actually one that I'm probably gonna slab as well. Uh, if you did see my last CGC unboxing, I got a 9.8 of this. And this one is, this one might be a contender. I'm gonna have to get it pressed and clean, but this one might be a contender as well. Put that off the side. Next up, we got Daredevil number one from the 2000, I believe in 19 series. Uh, this is the first cameo appearance of Detective Cole. Nice, nice copy. I have a few of those, I'm specking on that one. And then we have number two, the first full appearance of Detective Cole. And again, um, this one might be slab worthy too. Again, that that, that price tag, again, says $14.99, but um, if averaging out the amount of books I got is about $5.50, which is a great deal, for, a nice deal for that book. Another one, really high grade, another one that I might slab, Deadpool Circle Chase number one. Really nice copy. This one always cracks me up. We have Deadpool, um, Deadpool and and Whittle Whittle Wade number one. This is actually the, the first appearance of Whittle Wade, and uh, beautiful copy. Yeah, that's a that might be that's a good one. Might slap that one too. Oh, I ended up getting um, this one here. We have the mighty. Uh, the Mighty Avengers number one. This is the first appearance of Monica Rambeau as, I believe, Photon. If I'm not mistaken, it's her as Photon, or it's uh, it's uh, could be an, another one, but uh, it is a little bit of a minor key, and I did pick up two copies of that. One of them is actually pretty nice. I think it's that one. Uh, next up, we have the New Avengers Illuminati number one. Anyone who saw the Doctor Strange uh, 2 knows that the Illuminati was in it and they died. But I think that they're going to come back in another version, another form of the team. We know that we know that that, um, you know, Reed Richards is not dead. You know, he's he's coming back in the MCU. Um, could be the same thing for uh, Professor Xavier and, and, and others on the team. I think that they're going to do a new team. This one I always pick up uh, for, you know, if it's like five bucks or less. Uh, Batman vs. Predator number one. This is always a great one to find for this price. This, you know, this one, it does have a little bit of a, it's got a, got a ding on the bottom, but uh, Batman Mask of the Phantasm number one. Uh, this is the Prestige format. Again, if you saw my last CGC unboxing, I did get a 9.8 of this as well. This one's not a 9.8, but still, still great to find for the price. Uh, next up, we have Batman number 307. This is the first appearance of Lucius Fox, but this is a Whitman variant. And this one is a little beat up. It is a low grade copy, but some of these Whitmans are, are, are pretty hard to find and it's nice to find a, uh, a first appearance in those Whitmans. So uh, next up, another book that has gotten pretty hot lately, Blue Beetle number one. This is the first appearance of, I, I don't remember his name, but um, there's speculation that this will be the, actually, I think it's confirmed. This is going to be the villain of the Blue Beetle movie. So I grabbed that one. Um, this book's going for about 20 to 30 bucks right now. And I did grab uh, two copies of that. Did two in the back issues. Both of them solid. Not crazy high grade, but solid copies. Next up, we have Deathstroke the Terminator number 10. This is the first appearance of the female vigilante. 
pretty underrated book and a great Mike Zek cover. Um, not a great worthy copy, but I did pick up number 15 as well, which is the first appearance of Rose Wilson, Deathstroke's daughter. Another underrated book. Uh, speaking of underrated, I mean, really when it comes to DC, this actually might be a, a slab worthy, a slab worthy copy. Detective Comics 608. This is the first appearance of Anarchy. Anarchy. It is a newsstand as well. And this book is gorgeous. That's a really, really nice copy. Super under undervalued book. Um, next up, we have the Avengers number 240. Uh, is it 246? Yeah, 246. First appearance of Maria Rambeau. Newsstand as well. Solid VF range copy. Uh, this is another one that I, I really think is pretty undervalued. And it's generally very cheap. Uh, we have Brave New World. Giant size. Um, 80 pager number one, I believe. Yeah, this is the first appearance of the new Adam. I can't remember the, the, the name of the character. But yeah, it's the new version of the Adam. And... Again, you, again, you see that. Is this poly bag? No. Um, you, you see that price tag? It had a dollar on it. Um, you know, again, but this is where like the average comes into play. Like the you know the five dollars and, and fifty cent average. Like there's some books in here that are you know one, two, three dollars, but the average comes out to about five dollars and fifty cents. Uh, next up, we have Luke Cage, Power Man number twenty four. This is the first appearance of uh, Black Goliath. I actually didn't check to see if this has the um, the Marvel value stamp. Usually they notate it uh, if something's missing at, at this store. But I will, I will have to check on that one. Next up, another book that's gotten, it's gotten hot. This is the, this is just the second series, but with Man Thing number one newsstand it's from 1979 so you know they're mostly newsstands anyway but yeah just so and it's a it's a good looking copy too um it's got, got a couple pressable defects on it but oh, uh, solid copy next up we have marvel feature number one this is the first solo red sonia a great book to grab for the price Next up, we have Silver Surfer number 81. This is the first cameo appearance of Tyrant. And then to go along with that, we have 82, the first full appearance of Tyrant. And again, um, I, I have a few of this set. I'm specking on really any kind of um, Galactus, uh, Herald of Galactus. Uh, this is one of, the, one of the cheaper ones you can find. Um, of course, Silver Surfer is the main one. That's the one that everybody wants. I do have a first Silver Surfer, um, but um, that's not really a spec book. That's going to happen, and I mean, he's definitely going to be coming to the MCU. But we'll see if any other of Galactus' heralds come as well. Airwalker is another good one to grab uh, in Fantastic Four 120 if you find it. That's a good one, um, and it's not super expensive. Next up, I grabbed a few of these. We have Deadpool Merc with a Mouth, number two. Uh, a bunch of these homage covers. That's the, uh, the Jaws homage. Uh, then we have number three, the um, Dawn of the Dead, or Day of the Dead, I forget which one. Uh, number four, the Scarface homage. That's a cool cover. This is probably one of the most popular ones. Um, number 12, the uh, Nirvana cover. And then number 13, the Silence of the Lambs cover. Uh, it's funny because the price tag, it actually had, this one was the most expensive one there. Uh, but this is not really a very expensive book. That's a nice, oh, it's got a little thing. I'm not going to slide that one. But it's nice, still, still a solid copy. Um, I went through their, uh, they, so they have everything in alphabetical order. And then when it comes to each letter, they have like a, a miscellaneous section, like miscellaneous J or B or T. Um, so this one, uh, we found Truth, Red, White, and Black, number uh, five. This is just that Isaiah Bradley cover. They didn't have number one in there. They had a couple other issues, but I just grabbed that one. It was the nicest uh, copy. 
go home for a little bit beat up. Uh, we have X Factor number 10, just one from my, uh, I'm trying to put together this 25th anniversary run, uh, newsstand, so happy to find that one. Pretty, pretty nice copy as well. I'm looking for these in, in higher grade, so. Um, next up, we have Spectacular Spider-Man number nine. This is the first appearance of uh, White Tiger in comics. I believe he appeared in one of the uh, um, Fists of Kung Fu magazines. But first appearance of White Tiger in comic books. Again, this is one that I'm kind of specking on. I have a few copies of this. And yeah, it's just a good book to get for, I mean, if you get it for that price, why not? I just, you know, I'll grab those all day. This is a beautiful, beautiful copy. Spectacular Spider-Man 99, just one of those uh, spot appearance, uh, cover appearances. Absolutely gorgeous copy too. Yeah, that's gonna go in the possible slab pile. That's a nice one. Next we have Amazing Spider-Man number 209. This is the first appearance of Calypso, who is confirmed to be in the Craven movie. I've had uh, some slabs of this. I do have a few raw copies as well. I had a 9.8 slab that I sold. I do currently have a 9.2 slab that I am gonna that I am selling, but uh, still up for sale. And I do have some raw copies of this. This one really got got really hot with the announcement, and then it's it's cooled off. But you know, as it goes with uh, with with movie speculation, when the trailer comes out, they show clips, so that's definitely gonna gonna bump up again and and who knows sony has it has been you know hit or miss with their movies more misses than hits quite a few more misses than hits but who knows maybe they'll be due for a good movie aaron taylor johnson is a good actor so i think he he'll do a pretty good job in the role here's one i grab every time i see it for cheap i have a bunch of these asm 257 the first appearance of ned Leeds as hobgoblin they have been teasing that he might uh, become Hobgoblin in the next uh, Amazing Spider-Man trilogy. I believe that Tom Holland is now signed for two more trilogies. So I think the next one is going to be the college years and Ned Leeds very well could become Hobgoblin. They have been hinting at that as of late. Uh, another really, really nice copy, too. Uh, we have Amazing Spider-Man number 307, Origin of Chameleon, and it is a newsstand. Great McFarlane cover. That might be... I'm going to have to get that one pressed. That might be a slab-worthy book. Or maybe not. No, it's got... No, but still, still, a, still a nice book. Next up, we have... Amazing Spider-Man number 318. Great McFarlane cover as well. And for Spider-Man, the last book. This one, I could not believe that I found this book in the back issues. It's one you never see in back issues at stores. And what's even funnier is that I saw somebody right before me going through all of these spider-man boxes and they and this was in there and they left it behind i could not believe it and you guys might not believe it either asm 252 newsstand copy now don't get me wrong this is a low grade copy guys it is a low grade reader filler copy but for the price i don't know how anyone would ever leave that book even in low grade this is about a 40 to 50 dollar book you know, comps on eBay, raw copies that are, you know, around this type of grade go for between 40 and 50 bucks. Like you're not gonna find this book for less. And yeah, to get it for the price, I couldn't believe it. I was super happy. And again, somebody was looking through all the Spider-Man books right before me and they left it there. But again, this is the kind of thing that, that um, you know, talking to the owner, he said that he puts this this type of stuff. I mean, he wouldn't put a, a super high grade copy in the back issues, but he said, yeah, I'll put stuff like that in the back issues because it keeps people, keeps people coming back, keeps people excited to, to look through their boxes and find some good stuff. So uh, this last stack of books here that I'm going to show really cool to find. Again, this was in one of their miscellaneous sections. It was in the miscellaneous G. 
I think that had probably been there for a long time and I just kind of never really looked through that section before. And this is actually some stuff that they just might not have really known about. But happy to find these. And again, these are all newsstand copies. I will go over it. So that Spider-Man is actually not even the best deal that I found, which is pretty crazy. So first up, Gargoyles number two, newsstand copy. They didn't have number one, unfortunately. Um, but they have number two, newsstand copy. These books are tough to find. Really low printed and newsstands especially are hard to find. Number three. Number four. Our rule is number five. Number six. Now this one, I think this one is is, is more. Now again, all these newsstand copies, for the most part, like two, three, four, five, they they're about twenty five dollar books, roughly. Um, you know, some 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 a little bit less, maybe twenty, fifteen to twenty. Uh, this one I think is a little bit more expensive, and it's nice too. That book is nice. I might have to slab that one. Yeah, number six. Yeah, uh, for whatever reason, I think this is more expensive. For the ones I, I saw online, people asking more for that issue for whatever reason. We have number seven. Number eight. There was no number nine, but they did have number 10. I didn't actually check sold listings, but people asking this book in a newsstand, people are asking about 50 to 75 bucks. I don't think that it's going for that much, probably more like 30, but still. Second to last issue, low print. And lastly, they had number 11. Now this book right here, number 11, newsstand, the raw copies that, I, that I've seen on eBay, people are asking about $150 for this book. It doesn't sell for that much, but that's what people are asking. The only sold newsstand that I saw on eBay went for $88, and it was about a similar uh, grade, about VF or so, VF, VF plus. And the only graded was a 9.4, and that went for, I believe, just over $200. So I would say, even if, it, you know, I don't, I don't get it slabbed, it's still probably about a $60 to $75 book. And to find this in there for the price, I mean, that's just a, that's a, that's a steal. It's a great, great price. Um, and again, the, nobody knows, nobody really knows about these books, especially the newsstand copies. The directs are really not, I mean, the, the, the a couple issues in here are still fairly expensive, but newsstands of this are pricey, man. So, really, really happy to find that one. So that's gonna be the haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, again, hit that, hit that like, comment down below, let me know what you think. Hit the subscribe, it will really help out my channel. I will leave a link again in the description of all of the um, all my other social media, again, Instagram. I do I do weekly claim sales on Instagram every Tuesday and then usually on Thursdays I'll do another one, whatnot. I haven't been selling there as much lately, but I might I might, I might pick back up on that. And then also I do sell on short boxed uh, slabs too. So again, hit that subscribe, like, comment down below, and I'll see you guys on the next one.